Hello, people of the internet, my name is Johnny, welcome back to yet another FNAF News video, and this one's yet another video talking about Funko's brand new circus wave of merchandise. This is not our first rodeo with these brand new characters, we've talked about them a bit before in past videos, but today, this brand new wave of products and also these brand new characters overall got officially revealed by Funko themselves, giving us a full look at their very detailed designs and also a few more hints at what what these guys could be showing up in. In the past, we predicted they could be for Security Breach Ruin DLC or another season of Freddy and Friends on Tour, but based on what we're going to talk about in today's video, these guys could be used for something much, much bigger, possibly a brand new spin-off game. So if you're excited by these brand new products, don't forget to hit the like button. If you're brand new, subscribe. We talk about FNAF news all the gosh dang time, and subscribing is the best way to stay up to date with what's going on in FNAF. And now, honestly, let's not waste any more time. These are your brand new Funko figures. Introducing Circus Freddy, Circus Foxy, Circus Bonnie, and Circus Chica. Absolutely phenomenal designs that I instantly feel fell in love with. Personally, I think Circus Chica looks a bit like Helen Henny. I don't know if I'm the only one who's thinking that. Taking a closer look at Circus Freddy, as well as the box that this figure is going to come in. As you can see, he's looking very dapper with some fine white gloves, a vest, and a giant ribbon. It also looks like he has an inflatable mallet as a prop that looks fantastic. Circus Foxy seems a bit sad, don't know why. Maybe it's because his balloon prop has popped. He's got some baggy green pants being held up by some ye uh, yellow suspenders. He looks so sad but he looks so cute at the same time. Next up, you've got Circus Bonnie, who looks a bit like a jester, with the bells and also the, um, I don't know what it's called, but the thing, the giant puffy thing around his neck. He's holding a carrot, but it also looks like it could be, a, like, a disguised carrot bomb. I really hope that's not the case, but he's a goofy little fella, I love him. And finally, you have Circus Chica, who... Again, looks very dapper. Very adorable outfit. It looks like she's holding a bottle of some kind. That's all the description says is that she's holding a bottle accessory. From the looks of it, I'd like to imagine it's either a foghorn and she just blasts that in everyone's ears. Or it's like a, a water sprayer she goes around spraying people with. These are your pop keychains of Balloon Freddy and Balloon Foxy. We have seen these guys leaked in the past, so I'm not going to stay on them for too much longer. But they look absolutely adorable. Even if we don't know exactly what these characters are going to be for, just yet they do look absolutely again just so so cute and this is the brand new set of mystery mini figures once again containing uh variants of the balloon and circus versions of freddy bonnie chica foxy as well as it looks like some metallic and shiny versions of them i'd assume those are going to be your rare minis like your 1 in 72s or 1 in 36s we've got a red balloon foxy some glittery looks like golden minis of balloon chica as well as who is that i think that's just circus freddy and then whoever that guy is up there Looks like some variation of Balloon Freddy. We've also got some figures for Balloon Freddy and a Walmart exclusive Balloon Foxy figure. Now what's interesting about these guys is that they're actually so, so tiny. They're smaller than the traditional FNAF Funko figures. You can see them in their box. We have the pop figures. Once again, we have seen these guys leaked in the past, so I'm not gonna spend too much time on them. But you've got Balloon Freddy, Circus Freddy, Balloon Bonnie, Balloon Chica, Circus Foxy, as well as Balloon Foxy. And these guys should be stocking up pretty soon, if not already so maybe check your local hot topic if you got one near you i know for a little bit they were available on hot topics website and some people were able to get them but then it looks like they got taken off the site and it looks like the you can't find them in stores but again based on today today should be their release date i've heard tony mario bro say that they should be stocking today and finally to close off the wave we of course have plushies these are the plushies for circus bonnie circus freddy and circus foxy they look adorable a lot of attention and care put into these figures they have so so much detail especially bonnie in the middle with the bells atop his ears wow i can't believe just how much detail they put into these and then we also have balloon variations of foxy freddy and the walmart exclusive balloon cheese who also looks pretty to me they look a bit like giant lollipops but <laughs> whatever i think i think they look good these guys are definitely going to be probably some of the most marketable characters we've had ever in fnaf i mean just freaking look at them but of course now comes to the question what the heck are these guys for? At the beginning of this video, I've said that in the past, we thought they were going to be for either a season two of Freddy and Friends on tour, mainly because they're very cartoony characters. They actually don't look like animatronics. People have also thought that they could be for Security Breach Ruin DLC because during the lead up for these reveals, a lot of the branding around these characters hinted towards Security Breach. However, since their official reveal today, 
All of that branding around Security Breach has been changed to Balloon Circus, officially the name of this brand new wave. And even the descriptions on Funko's website say, Catch Pop Circus Freddy from Five Nights at Freddy's Balloon Circus in action. What the heck is Five Nights at Freddy's Balloon Circus? A lot of people are thinking this could be another spin-off game or just a filler game, kind of like Fury's Rage we got during the lead up for Security Breach because it got delayed so much. However, the issue with that is that, I mean, Scott's retired from making games. Steel Wolves busy working on Ruin DLC. It'd be weird for them to do a game between the Ruin DLC if they're already just working on the DLC, you know? So unless there's some other third party developer company that we don't know about, could it be for a new game? I'm not sure. Balloon Circus sounds like... <laughs> in my opinion, a pretty bad name for a game. I mean, what the frick does that even mean? They're just two nouns. That's not <laughs> that's not a name for a video game. Come on. But also, I feel like these guys aren't Funko OCs because there's so much attention to detail with their designs. I mean, Funko can't come up with Circus Bonnie. Just look at him. It's such a weird conundrum because it feels like there should be a pretty solid answer somehow, but it's like every avenue you look at it, you just don't know what they're for. Are they Funko OCs? No, because it seems like they have a way too much attention to detail and care put into them. Something that we know from, you know, years dealing with Funko, they can't do. <laughs> just being brutally honest here, I feel like they wouldn't take the time to put so much craft into these designs. Is it a spin-off game being made by Scott? Well, no, he said he's gonna stop making games. Are they part of the Ruin DLC? Also, maybe not because it seems like all evidence of Security Breach branding was replaced by Balloon Circus. Well, are they going to be a second season of Freddy Friends on tour? Again, all of the evidence of Security Breach branding was erased and replaced with Balloon Circus. Well, maybe it's another game being made by a new company. Well, why the frick haven't we heard anything about it, you know? It's, it's frustrating. And I guess all we can do is just wait. Personally, I adore these designs. I think they look absolutely adorable. They look so, so cute. I would hate for them to just be merchandise characters. So I really hope they're for some brand new spinoff. I don't know. <laughs> I just, I want to see more of these characters because they have so much care and attention to detail put into them. And I want answers on what they're for, but right now we just don't have that. Frankly, I just, I'd love to know what you guys have to think because right now, I'm lost. I'm so confused. And actually, right as I was wrapping up editing this video, Tony Mario Bros, who's the person who's been leaking all these products to us, actually pointed out something very interesting. They put out a tweet saying, following the announcement of the previously branded Security Breach Wave, retailers have rebranded and revised names and descriptions for their Circus Wave to be Five Nights at Freddy's Balloon Circus, with trademarks and talks of a game that they come from. You can see this description says, with this assortment of new figures featuring the game's frighteningly cute animatronics. And another part of the description says, close in on a safer, cuddlier version of your favorite FNAF Balloon Circus trademark characters before they move. So the fact that it not only has a trademark, but it also says safer, cuddlier versions of these characters from this game feels like it's practically confirmed the balloon and circus you know characters that we got from funko are gonna be in a brand new game whether that's the ruin dlc i feel like probably not they don't look like they fit the feel the atmosphere of what the ruin dlc is gonna go for so i think our next best guess is some sort of spin-off game whether that's gonna be by Scott or by another company. We're just gonna have to wait and find out. But that's gonna do it for this FNAF News video. Tell me again, what are your thoughts? What are these characters gonna be for? How do you feel about the looks of these brand new characters? And also, are you gonna be picking up any of these brand new products? Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you all on the flip side. Goodbye.